Hello, and welcome back to AmbiV. I'm Casper, and today we're going to unleash the fury of the 302, unless I screwed something up during the installation. If you watched the previous episode, you know that I installed the new pulleys on the engine and that we should be ready to fire up the engine. Now, the 302 in this car is essentially completely new, and so there's going to be some odd break-in kinks with it. So I don't want to run it too long here, but I need to get the timing set and I need to check for leaks. So when I installed the distributor, I ensured it was top dead center several times, but now I need to make sure that I've got it adjusted to the ideal timing marks. This engine calls for between 12 and 14 degrees of timing at idle, and it calls for a total advance of about 34 degrees. It is also vacuum adjusted, so I'm going to try to do it with the vacuum connected so that it actually is where it needs to be in the final configuration. I don't want to do static timing, then go back and try to figure out the vacuum. Let's go ahead, get the engine running, and see how it does. There's a quick tuning on the 302 for you. So I have it running. I set the timing where it was expected. It seems to be happiest around 12 at idle, and it seems about 34 degrees total advance is about what it really likes. The engine is very snappy and very responsive, and I would have loved to have taken it for a drive. Unfortunately, the transmission is not cooperating. I didn't have the right adapters for this new radiator and the lines that come from the transmission, so I attempted to put a short loop of brake line on the transmission just to get the car moving, and that seems to be causing a problem. Either that or I installed something in the torque converter completely wrong, because any time I shift into drive, the car dies. It just drags it to a stall. If I lift the car off the ground, don't put my foot on the brakes and just shift it into drive. The wheels turn just fine, it'll keep running, but as soon as I put on the brakes, it dies. So the torque converter is not letting go for some reason. I'll have to dive into that in the meantime, but at least we know the engine runs and I can get started on the rest of the process. A few of the concerning things I did encounter with this engine were what appeared to be a minor oil leak, which I'm not going to say is an oil leak right now. It may be some cleaning fluid or something that came out of one of the ports that I wasn't expecting. And the fact that during idle, a couple of the header tubes ran almost cherry red as it was starting to be broken in and I was setting the timing. I emailed Blueprint Engines about this and they said that this isn't uncommon during break-in and that ultimately I need to take the car out for a short drive, which I obviously can't do while I'm having issues with the transmission. So hopefully in the near future, you'll see a video of this car out there running under its own power. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next video.